My mother had a heart attack and she passed away as a result of that heart attack. And, and one of my sisters passed away from a result of a heart attack. And then my second sister, Terry, had a heart attack and then went into a coma. And we had to take her off life support. My name is Doyle Sutton and I had open heart surgery at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center about five months ago. There is a very strong hereditary component to coronary artery disease and its progression. Genetics do play a big part, as do other risk factors such as diet, exercise, cholesterol levels, which is often tied to, to the hereditary piece. And so there's clearly that familial component in Doyle's past and in his family. I've worked out, I stayed active, I played sports. I'm in the gym six, sometimes seven days a week. So I never thought I would go down that same path. And uh, I never knew I had an issue until I went to see my primary doctor and she noticed the heart murmur. After Doyle's initial evaluation with his primary care physician, he underwent an evaluation by one of our cardiologists here at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center, Dr. Darshan Godkar, who ran a full battery of tests on Doyle and determined through that evaluation that he had two distinct issues related to his heart. One was, is called aortic stenosis, which is a narrowing of the valve of the heart, uh, which limits the blood flow from the heart to the rest of the body. The other finding on a cardiac catheterization that was performed here was that he had clear, significant disease within his coronary arteries. At that point, Dr. Godkar made the referral to us on the surgical team uh, for evaluation for possible surgery. Dr. Godkar is like a regular person. You know, I know he's a doctor and he's a cardiologist, but I feel almost like I know him because I've been going to him for some time now. And Dr. Salemi, when I met him, he was incredible. Like, he totally, totally put my mind at ease. We offered him the combined bypass surgery and valve replacement surgery, and we discussed the risk benefit. Of course, the, the benefits far outweigh the risks of the operation. The goal of the surgery is to get patients to a better quality of life first and foremost, and that is something that we were certainly able to achieve in Doyle. He is back to doing all the things that he had been doing before, and he has no limitations from his surgery. It's incredible, because people ask me how I feel. I'm sorry, but it's amazing. It's, I feel like a new person. It's incredible.